Hello and welcome back. In this video, I convert this old, broken MacBook Air into a fully functional Linux desktop. Stick around, because there are definitely some mishaps and discoveries you'll want to see. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is choose a Linux distro. Although I know more about Linux than the average computer user, I'm still not very knowledgeable, so I chose something easy. Elementary OS. To start, I downloaded the ISO, installed Belena Etcher, plugged in a USB stick, and flashed it with the OS. I proceeded to ignore warning messages and unplug the USB. Now to actually install the OS. This is surprisingly easy even on a Mac. I simply restarted the machine while holding Alt, plugged the USB back in, and selected it. This booted me into a test version of Elementary OS, where I played around to make sure stuff was mostly working. After clicking through the desktop for a few minutes, I clicked the install icon in the dock. Or whatever it's called. Who knows? I chose a language, waited, chose a keyboard, waited, and then connected to Wi-Fi. Now this is important, I selected install third-party software and such. We'll come back to this later. Also, my Wi-Fi didn't seem to be working. But I ignored that and hit continue. And then waited some more. After that step completed, I selected Erase Disk and Install. Goodbye macOS. I okayed the changes, selected my location again, and then the screen went blank. But it's okay, it came back in a few seconds. I filled out some personal info, chose a super weak password, and waited some more. But after over 10 minutes of waiting for retrieving file 1 of 3, I just clicked skip. What could possibly go wrong? And I was feeling impatient. Anyways, the installation finally completed, I clicked restart and began using the OS. Everything seemed fine, I selected some of the options and got started. I worked on downloading a better browser when, out of nowhere, the first issue occurred. The monitor screen just blacked out. It quickly came back, but this was just the start of my string of issues. After installing Brave, I tried googling the issue, but to no avail. It kept happening. And even worse, the Wi-Fi refused to work. So I did the only logical thing. Shut down and install a different OS. However, I'd already deleted macOS, so I didn't have anything to fall back on. So I went on my MacBook Pro, which I reviewed here, feel free to check that out, downloaded Ubuntu, installed Belena Etcher for the second time that day, and flashed the USB with Ubuntu. I then plugged that into the system and booted it up. Finally, the desktop loaded, and I chose to try out Ubuntu. I looked around, and fortunately, the Wi-Fi worked, and the monitor stayed on consistently. However, this wasn't the end of my issues. I ran the installer, waited some more, and actually, you guys know what I did. Basically the same process as earlier. Let's move on. This time, I checked the box to install third-party software, and I made sure not to skip anything. I chose to erase the disk, added in my information, and then read through the Ubuntu propaganda while the install completed. After just under 10 minutes, it finished. I restarted the system, logged in, and dealt with some simple housekeeping. It all seemed to be working great, but as you can probably guess by now, something went wrong. And once again, it was the Wi-Fi. This was strange as it was working earlier, but it just stopped. Fixing this was by far the most painful part of the entire process. After much googling, I realized I could still connect to the internet by tethering my phone to the MacBook Air with a USB cable. Now this wasn't ideal, but it did technically work. After even more googling around and entering dozens of terminal commands, none of which I understood, the Wi-Fi just started to work again. Now, I'm not too sure why this is, but if any of you watching do try to Linuxify your old Macs, just remember you can always tether to your phone. I'll leave some links in the description to some sites that helped me fix the issue in the end. So with all of that working, I had a pretty functional Linux desktop, but it looked terrible. So here's a quick time lapse of me fixing it up.
Now, the reason that got cut off was because, you guessed it, something else went wrong. The keyboard was out of battery, probably because I haven't used it for years. Once that was solved, I finished up the setup and I think it looks pretty good. So as a functional desktop, this isn't too bad, but it definitely isn't fast. Websites can take a while to load, apps can hang a bit, and there is a definite lack of snappiness. But you can play Minecraft at a solid 30 frames per second, and navigate the web in a pretty reasonable fashion. Considering this came from what was effectively a useless laptop, I'm pretty happy with this result. If you have some old computers and accessories lying around, I'd highly recommend you attempt a project like this. It may not scratch that. It definitely won't be successful on the first attempt, but it's fun and you'll probably learn something, even if that's just how to Google the correct terms. If you've made it this far, consider subscribing and liking the video. I do appreciate it and it makes more people see this video. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.